Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Strategy Secrets, and today we're going to be discussing roundtable coaching videos, how these videos came about. We had uh, been doing coaching at this uh, arena for about between 10 and 12 months. Coaching students uh, contributed to it. We come up with new ideas, the same material, just better and more effective ways of presenting it. And so that's how the videos came about. So now when someone decides to be a coaching student, they have videos as long with the uh, coaching sessions and the trading sessions. And so, so what we're going to do is make available to everyone the videos, but you will not have the coaching sessions included. The things that we're going to be talking about in this webinar are the power of the 15 minute time frame. You see here that there's a channel market and you see where it takes off. Well, wouldn't you like to know when that's going to take place? There are indicators and signals that tell us when that's getting ready to take take off. And so within a few bars here, you're getting in at an early point on that. And so that's uh, the power, knowing when to stay out of a sideways market and when it's going to be taking off. And how to trade this channel market. Okay, there are channel markets and there's ways of trading this. This is really tight, so this one you couldn't trade. But... This also tells you how to trade it coming out of that channel market, like the previous picture. This is the same picture twice to present the channel markets and the power of getting in early. To maximize profits on a trend. Now, we can obviously see in this blue box that is a trend, Then, but there are several places that could be entered. Possibly a little one here, another one there. This one you might have missed. That's a news announcement but uh, some in here and then some, some good ones right up in here. So there's different places you can add uh, additional trades or at least just take one of the trades with different uh, signal points along the way. But if you add, uh, get in early in the first one and add on a couple of times or at least once, that just compounds the number of pips that you're going to be making. Introducing the sniper range. This is a area on the left here you can see this is the area that we're talking about that is the in the sniper range but how do you you tell what that is this is a, a one minute chart here and these two outside lines tell you what the range is that's when we know when it started and we don't know when it stops until over here there's an indicator set up that tells us when it stops and these two vertical lines in the middle are places that you could add on it's what the sniper range helps you to identify is, is this a good place to uh, put on additional uh, trades? So we go back here, that sniper range would be telling us that, yes, these, this would be an error that you possibly could add on to some uh, additional trades. So that's a, a new item that uh, was developed because of the coaching students. More detail on how to manage trades. Now, there's a time to manage the trade on a one-minute time frame and a time to manage on a five-minute time frame. But also, if you want to set and forget the trade, there are ways of managing it even on the larger times with frames with, with the different tools and the settings, how to keep from getting whipsawed. This is where no matter who you are, if you're not careful, you can have this happen to you. You can get in at the top. And when it's, and it turns and goes short, you get out the bottom, get back in, going short, and it goes back long. And you can see some beautiful whipsaw patterns here. There's a whipsaw here. Uh, maybe you took a trade, but you go up and you get to take a sell trade. It comes back down and go up and back and forth. And pretty soon you've had three trades, four trades, and you've lost on every one of them. And you've picked the top and the bottom of every one of these markets. If that's happened to you, there's a way to prevent you from doing that and having that uh, wonderful experience of losing every second. Okay, how do I identify a trend? Now, I'm not showing here how to pick out the trend. I'm just showing you the areas that are obviously trends. Well, you can identify this trend clear back over here when it's, it's coming out of the sideways market and starts moving in a solid direction. This obviously, I put some uh, X's there showing that there's no trend there. N not even a counter trend is uh, advisable. Over here, there's a beginning of a, a trend as well. So 
if you how to identify those trends and trade within them is a very uh, key tool. How to identify the power of each time frame, the power of the 15 minute, what's it ro what its role is, the five minute roll and the one minute roll, and how they work together to help you have a more accurate uh, accuracy in your trading. So I've tried to illustrate here uh, on the left, I have a chart, 15 minute chart with two vertical lines. This would be an area that the 15 minutes said possibly consider uh, trading in that uh, direction. This is a five minute, the same two uh, vertical lines and where you might consider getting a couple of trades there. And this is what it looks like on the one minute. And the one minute is where you could time an entry, uh, a more accurate place to enter and another accurate place and why you would probably not be trading in this area. But that's the power of each time frame when you look at them together and the larger time frame says, okay, I'm ready to go. The next time frame says, I confirm that. And the smaller time frame says, I'm not ready yet. And you wait a few minutes and it says, okay, I'm ready now. Then that is the time when you can uh, see the power of how these three time frames work together. A little bit later, we'll share with you a learning curve shrinker. And we'll tell you what that is. You may already know. So in this uh, system, being able to spot entry signals and setups. Okay, many of us have a way of doing that, but uh, with the most accuracy that we've ever uh, seen or developed, uh, that's what we have in these videos. How to spot accurate exit signals and knowing which time frame to uh, manage those trades on. Learn when to take additional trades and do that when it's in the trend. And we talked about that. Know that you're in a sideways market and to be cautious of the size of the trade to expect. Okay, you can trade sideways markets, and but you don't know exactly which time is going to be the big breakout. The signals might give you a breakout and it goes for 5, 10 pips. Well, know how to trade that. Be always aware of in the beginning. Be cautious of, of the, your expectations of how many pips you might expect out of that uh, movement. And spot upcoming trend trending markets and be able to get into the beginning of those trends. That's the key. I see a lot of people get into trends, but they missed half of it because they didn't to see it or they showed up their computer late. Well, that's okay. At least you got part of it. But if you were there, why not take it to the beginning instead of wait until half of it's passed and then just take the, the last part. The videos will give you the same instruction that the coaching students are getting. The only difference is that you will not receive live coaching and be able to trade with us over 15 hours a week. That's the difference. And there are a few other differences as well, but that's, that's the main thing with the videos versus not having the, the uh, coaching, just, just the videos only. Either way, you can be a much better trader than you thought you could be, but do it in much less time than you've experienced in the past. Now we're going to show you an overview of what the simulator is and what it can do for you. And this is the learning curve shrinker that I talked about. Okay, this is the uh, simulator. And on the left, I have the one minute, and you can see right at the top, and the five minute and the 15 minute. Now, this is cool thing about this is you can see what you're looking for. Now, what we're going to do in this example is we're looking for this 15 minute to set up first. Right now, there's nothing that sets up that says you should take a trade. You might think that uh, the indicators say, well, they're on the right side. They're all the same color. Well, you got to look at more than that. Uh, first of all, I will tell you one of the key uh, features. You need to be able to determine on this 15-minute moving average which direction you should trade. The key is if the price bars are above that line, you are looking for long trades. If it's below that line, you are looking for short trades. And that's where you start. Right now, based on what we're seeing here, I want to uh, consider trading long, but the indicators don't tell me that's what I should do. I have a stop loss set at 20 pips. In this particular currency pair, and this is of about five years ago, that was the best setting. Nowadays, uh, 15 works just fine. I just picked 50 pips 
because I was I had it set smaller and I kept on getting taken out way before uh, it maximized it when it went big time. Either way, it'll either give me the 50 pips or it'll close me out. Uh, I close it out manually. There's a preset here. I have a trailing stop. Normally we go for a shorter trailing stop, but 20 pips seems to work with this currency pair at this time. But this has a feature that we don't have. Uh, the trailing stop can kick in uh, when the profit gets to 10 pips. And that's something you can manually do. You set your trailing stop as you reach certain points in your trading, move your stop a little closer. And that can be done manually. Then when the trailing stop kicks in, uh, you've, uh, it'll, it'll actually start moving your favor, but you've had less exposure. So I'm going to leave it at a setting of three. That's three times speed. I can go faster, but I do, then I miss trades. And so how I compensate for that is I'm going to turn it on right here. And uh, you should see them start to move. Okay, there they go. You notice they're all moving in the same direction. But it's what we're looking for is over here on the 15 for it to set up. Now there's next bar. I have this set on the one minute. And so I'm going to click next. And so it'll be going, but I can, if it looks like, okay, it's going too slow, I can move it one bar at a time until I see something. I'm not looking at the one minute. I'm looking at the 15 minute. And I'm going to click this a few times. And I'm waiting for uh, these signals to line up. But I also look at the price point to be on the correct side. It's getting close. That's danger zone. Because you don't know whether it's going to bounce off like it's done several times or just pass right on through and go short. And so uh, once I see this set up on the 15, okay, there it's it's below and it gave me a strong signal. Now I want the five minute to, to continue giving me a strong signal. It uh, did initially, but then it pulled back. See, now they both pull back. Okay, now do I need to start looking for long trades? Uh, this one is across. It's above. These are not all across. So I'm not looking for anything right now. I'm waiting until it, it keeps staying in that channel. Consolidated market. Okay, it's... Okay, now it's at the bottom of that little grouping. Uh, it says possibly it could be short. Now it went back long again. Now it's back short again. But, see, before that, it was still uh, above, crossing over, even though we're getting good signals down here saying momentum should go short. The five minutes says it should go short, and the one minute says it should go short. Uh, everything's set up. I think I'm going to take a trade right there. So the line goes on. Uh, you can see up here that my stop is uh, set. That's the 20 pip stop loss. Uh, it looks like it's going in my direction, but it was based on everything was starting to set up and everything looked good at the time. So now I'm almost to a break even point. There's more features I could show you about this, but this is just to give you an idea of. The system is what I'm trying to demonstrate, not the simulator. This is a way to see how the system works all at one time. This is real data. This is downloaded right from MetaTrader. And so this is actually what happened at that time. OK, how many pips did it go up? It went up 12 pips, so it may have moved a couple of pips up here on my stop. Okay, I wasn't watching. Normally, I would prob probably have have closed this because uh, I didn't know whether it was going to go up and test that or back down. But since I am talking and not concentrating, uh, we'll just leave and see if I have a loss or a win. Okay, the, the 15 minutes still strong. This is a potential exit signal right here. So I'm going to close the trade. Close a trade, and they lost a couple of pips on it. 
Now I'm waiting for the setup to happen again. The 15 setup, I'm waiting for this five minute to give me a setup. And I'm clicking the one minute bar so it'll move along a little bit. See the 15 now is flickering back and forth. The five minute is going back long. It's starting to give me hopes of a short trade. Okay, five minutes still. I'm looking for the one minute to. Okay, there I'm going to take a sell trade there. Uh, in real time, the best entry would have been about six pips earlier. But I'm going a little faster than I would normally want to go. So let's click this. I'm looking for the 15 is really strong going short and the five minute is pretty solid. One minute is just going sideways. It must have moved quite a ways because the stop is down at break even. And so it hit, uh, it went down 24 pips. It should have been protecting something, but it came to break even. Okay, now I'm looking. Okay, that's getting questionable right there. Okay, I closed it because this was starting to go back above. So what did we have there? We had 15 plus pips. Okay, so that's what the simulator does for you. And you become a much better trader faster by being able to do this. So the one thing you have to be careful of is don't go too fast. You can set this at a really fast speed. There's 427% faster, so you can see how fast it goes. And so you can see what uh, took place really fast. But that, that gets you going too fast. You're really not uh, being able to trade that fast. But if you need to move it along, there's sessions. I'll show this one other thing right here, this vertical line. This is the... Uh, Australian and, and the uh, yen Tokyo sessions and this green is the London session and then the US session so we've been trading looks like in the uh, London session so you can speed it up like I showed you go to the session that you would normally trade whichever that might be and so you'd be trading at the same time that you would normally be trading this can be uh, brought up or put down uh, trade. I'm going to click on trade, show you one more thing. This is the, if I'd had this up, then we would have actually seen a live trade there. But we go to the history. These are histories of some other trades that I've taken. Uh, this trade right here is the one that we, we took. Oh, here's the one that we lost on. And that's another one up there. Now I'm only trading at 10 cents on this. And so I made there's the 15 pips and it looks like I made 36 pips on, on that one. Uh, but here's how you can keep track of everything. And you just go through the list of things and you can keep track. So it keeps track of your stats and how much money you're making, all the pips you're doing. So that's all I wanted to share with you on the, the uh, simulator is how we look and how the system works based on find out which direction the 15 minutes is going. Make sure the five minute agrees with it, and then the one minute you would time your entry on. This trade right here, uh, by the time I was paying attention, uh, I should have seen it up here. I really am 12 pips late on that trade.
and it still got the 15 pips out of it. So if I'd been going slower and timed it better, I could have had maybe 25 pips instead of uh, the 12. Okay, so that is the that shrinks your learning curve. That's not our product. It's one that we can refer you to. It's one we found, and it's the best thing that we've ever found in relation to uh, cutting your learning curve and trading real time in uh, all the time frames, see everything all at once. All the time people tell us that they would like to do certain things to become profitable traders, but they never get there. And these are some of the reasons that they say and why they never make it. They never had a system to follow. I am surprised that I, there's so many systems out there that they have never found one that worked or they've just been, from the time they ever heard about it, they just started working on their own. Never, never had anyone to trade with and always trading alone. So they're developing their own material. And I know how long that takes to do that. But I had a collaboration of people uh, to develop our system. And then once they get system, but they don't have any support. No actual time seeing the system in action. That's where we have the PIP club. You can see it in, in action and uh, occasionally ask a few questions. Don't have tools to help them to learn faster. That's the scanner. And now we've uh, come across the simulator to help you learn faster. And here are some reasons why they uh, want to become successful. They want to have an extra source of income, either to supplement or to replace their income and uh, the ways to become a professional trader. They want to change their careers and actually become uh, professional traders. And some of them say, I just want a way to benefit my loved ones. I want to have some fun set up for my children and grandchildren. Now, so what you're going to get with these round table uh, coaching videos, you, first of all, you get the 1551 basic course. You have access to the PIP club three days a week and you get the round table coaching videos. That's the main part that you're getting. And you get one month of the scanner for free when you uh, get involved with the round table coaching videos. And this is the one time fee of only $500. And that's should be $50,000 worth of value. There is so much value here, so accurate. The, the uh, coaching students uh, are amazed at how accurate it is and how uh, stress-free it is and then being able to trade with other people as well. So the, these videos contain all the detail that you wish you had in the 1551 course. Yeah, that's good, and many people are doing well with it, but this gives you even more detail, more accuracy. And so if you take this link, you'll have to type it in and put it in a browser, and then you can get a copy of the uh, videos for the coaching videos. And if you have any questions, you probably know by now it's jed at forexstrategysecrets.com. That's our email address, and we both respond to that uh, email. Okay, everything we've talked about on the 1551, you can do that on the one hour, 15, and five minute. Can the simulator do that? Yes. When you're setting it up, I've set it up for the one minute, 15, five. When you're selecting these times, you could select the five minute. 15 minute and one hour uh, time frames. And then the simulator would work on the, the time frames you want to, to learn to trade on. I think it's $99. We can send you the link for that if you want it. So send us an email, we'll send you the link. Uh, this video is for the coaching videos. And uh, you can use the simulator to practice. And that is really one of the main things. For us, it's a practice tool an instructional tool, and uh, just showing the features of our system tool. That yes, there will be videos added, but not necessarily. I'm not just going to add videos just to be adding videos. It'll have to be some content that really benefits what you've already seen. One thing that I think might be of help, because not everyone's going to want the simulator. Uh, I may make some videos on the simulation uh, go a little slower so you can see it, and, and uh, that'll be shown there as well. The trading platform, everything we do is based on the MetaTrader 4 platform. That's where our the, the simulator works on the MetaTrader, our scanner works on the MetaTrader, and we can get the indicators we use 
on MetaTrader. Uh, of course, you know that that's offered free from every broker that I've ever found it at. And we did that because it was the most popular one out there. It still is. If you've dealt with simulated before, you can maybe just use indicators that are already built into MetaTrader. And you can use one chart at a time. This way you can, you saw, you can use multiple charts. Uh, I don't know how many you can put up there, but you probably have six charts at a time clicking. Uh, but it's all, it's only going to be on one currency pair at a time. And you can have custom indicators uh, any way that you want to have them set up with any system.